it's live because now it's getting sent to my rebroadcaster. So now uh, with that, uh, once it gets to the rebroadcaster, from there it'll shoot across all the platforms. All I mean, right. I'll give you for a second in between and give it back to you, okay? And then I'll position it for you. And now it's going across all the pages. I love it. Wow. It's exciting. It's awesome. This is the first event since all this crazy stuff has started. But while we're going on with that, let's introduce everybody. And we are back. Here I am, Fly Navarro with the No BS World Tour special Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show Edition. Right now, I'd like to introduce my guest, Peter Miller with Peter Miller it's adventures, correct now? Well, it's Peter Miller fishing and it's Uncharted Waters TV show. So thank you for that introduction. Fly, I got to be honest. I didn't expect that amount of energy on your intro and you kind of make you making me step my game up. I'm going to have to stand up on my toes and get all well, pumped up now. That's what it's all about. We got to keep going up little by little by little. So we're all at our top of our game. So good afternoon, Peter. Tell us a little bit about uh right now today you are at the fort lauderdale international boat show right now so tell us what it looks like right now at uh at flibs well i gotta be honest i mean the crowd is bigger than i thought it was gonna be it's a little overcast a little rain here and there but for the most part there's plenty of people walking around there wasn't a long line to get in so it's kind of like almost like the perfect setup because we know everybody wants to buy boats right now. We don't need to be crashing into each other. And everyone that's here is shopping hard. These guys are buying things because boats, fishing gear, everything related to the outdoor sports in this industry is going fast and furiously. The boat I'm standing on right now, the Invincible, the brand new 46 Cat, already has 24 pre-sold. They're 1.2 million bucks. I mean, come on. This, this, this is what it's all about. And uh, I got a 46 in front of me. I got a 37, I got a 33, I got a 39 behind me, and uh, the show's going absolutely incredibly well. So I'm excited to be here. Man, that is awesome. So uh, tell us exactly um, what um, Invincible has introduced this year during the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Well, they've introduced the 33, and they've also introduced the brand new 46, which is their flagship beast of a boat i fished on the 40 but this 46 is just next level and then they have a 33 behind me which maybe you can't see yet maybe we'll take a take a look a peek over there in a minute and then i'm getting the 35 cat in about 10 days which is also similar to the 46 hull but in a 35 so it has a similar type feel to it and then of course we have the 37 on the other side of me but again the 46 big giant invincible cat and the 33 over there so we have some really cool things going on these guys it's like family when you're with invincible that's one of one of the best things about it but honestly their boats are even better than that i mean it's incredible you don't have to sell me on it uh i've fished on the 33 the 36s and the 42s so they're great boats they're great fishing platforms uh, and they're a great company to work with. So that's that's also good to hear. Now, tell us, uh, you say you have a 36 coming out? I have a 35, I have a 35 cat uh, that's going to be ready in about uh, two weeks. I think we might have to take a little cover. we got a rainstorm coming over. We might go under there, guys. What do you think? So you mind if, you, if we walk together? Let, let's holding. walk. Let's walk. Walk and, let's. walk and talk. Here we go. I'm walking and I'm talking. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm walking and I'm talking and uh, here I am in the console with uh, dual row seating on the 46 and uh, I don't even know how big these garment screens are. I want to say they're 22s. I don't even know. 24s. Yeah, we got some big garment screens here and I'm undercover now. So this is the place you want to be during the uh, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show on a little, a little, little baby rainstorm. It's going yeah. to go away so keep it a positive. I want to I, I want to give a couple of shout outs uh, because we got people jumping in from all over. We got Renee from Cabo San Lucas. We got Art Hill is saying big shout out to Jeff from Invincible. I see uh, Barefoot Sierra from Sierra Leone and Oliver Taylor from the UK is joining in. So anybody that's got some questions for Peter Miller on these Invincibles, just chime on in and let us know. So. 
Uh, and Peter, don't get wet, man. And no, I no, do- I'm staying dry. I got a big, giant uh, top over me. It must be, I don't know, it looks to me like 15 feet long. I'm not sure about my, my uh, logistics and my numbers here, but it's big. We're staying no. dry. I, I love it. I love it. So um, so tell me a little bit about your experience so far. Is today your first day at the show? Correct. Today's my first day. Today is, and, and, and being that it's the first event since uh, all this craziness has happened, what did you see when you came into this, to the show? Well, when I walked into the show, I got to be honest, it was, it was super streamlined and I had everything on my phone, my barcode. <laughs> So I downloaded it and, you know, we came in with my girlfriend and they scanned it. They checked our temperature. We came straight in. It was super easy to get in. The traffic was super light yet the tr- with the cars, but yet the traffic at the boat show is actually pretty smooth. There's a bunch of people, but it's not too crowded. It's kind of like the perfect setup. So my first big outing out of the house to come to the Fort Lauderdale boat show has been pleasant to say the least. And when you're standing undercover, like leaning on, you know, dual row seating on a 46 invincible, you're winning. Sorry. I keep plugging. I'm a no, no. Hey, that's what you're here for. You're supposed to be <laughs> plugging. I, I, I love it. Uh, speaking yeah. of plugs, uh, I have one person in the queue that has asked me three different times to call you a superstar. So, uh, yeah, I got I got Bruce Burnett uh, online saying here to call you a superstar. Uh, uh, that's my boy, Bruce. He's traveling around in his panga. We got to get him an Invincible one day. That's my boy, Bruce, keeping the positivity at all times, man. He's always doing hashtag superstar, hashtag my hero. And I'm always like, man, I love you, buddy. He's always keeping it positive on, on uh, social media where some other people may, you know, may not even comment, but he goes the extra mile. So thank he, o- he always goes the extra mile. Uh, I also have Alex from Cameroon joining in and he's saying that is an awesome boat that you're on. So, oh yeah, he is uh, right, man. This boat is something else. I've been fishing on the 40 cat, uh, Alex, and I've uh, been fishing on the 35. I've been on the 42 V I've been on the 39 V hull and it just keeps getting better and better. And I just, I've never been running in the 46 as of yet. Cause this is hole number one, but man, I can't wait to take this thing out. I think I'm going to steal it tonight and we'll open it up offshore and go about. Listen, know, if you, if you steal it, I won't tell anybody. No, I nobody will I know. This is no, no one will know. Nobody will no. know. It'll, it's going out quietly. I won't <laughs> say a word. So, uh, what is that new 46 powered with? The new 46 is powered with uh, 450 quad 450 racing motors by Mercury. And uh, it runs like a, what do they say? A scolded dog? Is that how they say it? I think that's the terminology. And um, the beauty of the cat, man, it just gets up on, I mean, the V hole on any boat takes a second or two. The cat is literally like straight and you're going and you're on it and you'll get up to 50 miles an hour in like seven seconds i mean it's ridiculous man that's pretty impressive now i personally haven't ridden on a uh, a cat boat yet so tell the, anybody that's watching right now that it's not ridden on a cat boat could you describe a little bit what the different ride is between uh the regular mono hall and the cat hall I think what the diff- the big difference in the ride is you're cutting through your slicing because you don't have a big you don't have a big surface area. So when you have like imagine like two knives going through the butter as opposed to like a V going into a, a stick of butter. That's that's how I look at it. I may be using the wrong terminology, but I think that for me works very well. So it's like two knives cutting through a wave. So you're getting through it that much easier. That's the way I see it. And when you're on the cat hull. The bow to me is the same. Well, not to me, to everybody, the same as the stern. So if you're fishing up here, you're fishing the stern, you're doing the exact same thing. So it's kind of like you have two transoms, you have two cockpits, and it makes the boat like super useful. And the the storage is ridiculous. Um, Everything about it is just big, it's wide, it runs well, it's fast, it gets up on plane, and it's great in a rough season. That's why I love it. That now I, I that I love to hear. Now with that 46, and I know here at home and I and home is South Florida to both you and I. So one of the things that's very important for us is live well space. What kind of live well space does that boat have? Oh my gosh, they got they got two giant live wells in the back and two sets of tuna tubes with lids. And the tuna tubes are gigantic. They're meant for the big boys. You're taking this boat marlin fishing you're putting out you know 15 pound tunas bridles you know out the back so you when you got the two tubes and then you also have them in the floor so we have a total of two in the transom we got two giant sets of tuna tubes and then we have two one or two on the floor 
two in the floor. So it's my first time on the boat. So we got four live wells, two sets of giant tuna tubes. I mean, you're set for virtually anything. And then when you get up to the coffin box area, the storage up there is incredible. I mean, you could fit, you know, four people in there, just lay them in there, put them to sleep, put some ice on them, and they'd be fine. They'll wake up tomorrow all nice and chilly. You know what? I, I, I'm laughing because I have actually done that before. <laughs> <laughs> when it's hot, you go hide somewhere. So yeah, uh, any hard. little bit. So could while, while I have you on here, could you explain to everybody some of the special things that you have asked for on your personal boat that that's coming out? Uh, what are some okay. of the, the special options that you've asked for on your boat? Okay, on my particular boat, on the 35, you know, I live in Miami, right? So I'm not running 70, 80, 120 miles. I'm not sleeping out on the boat. So for me, it's a little bit of a different setup for them, my good friends up in the panhandle, for instance. Like these guys are running far. They're loading it down with a million pounds of ice and bait and fish and guys and food and drinks and this and that. So I'm taking a little lighter. So I'm doing more of a I'm doing South Florida kite fishing, a more of approach. So instead of doing quads, I'm doing twin 400 Mercuries on mine, which makes it really fuel efficient. Number one, it's still going to go, you know, mid fifties, maybe 60, depending on the load. And then um, I'm going to have a tower on it, which is really unique. And for me, when I'm in a tower, I can see everything, you know, and I'm going to stay up there the entire day. And I'm basically going to be orchestrating, you know, when you're in the tower, you're like, left short, right long, here we go, blah, 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 do this, do that, go that way. And you can see everything. And I love that. And the fact that they offer all these options, you know, to do four motors or two motors. And based on having two motors, you're going to take your fuel tanks and bring them a little further back to distribute the weight. If you got the four motors, you're going to put the, the fuel tanks a little further up to distribute the weight. So you have like any option that you want they're capable of doing. Obviously, these are kind of, you know, this is known. Everyone knows this setup now because it's, you know, this is what they do. But another nice thing about Invincible is they just revamped their their factory. And when you walk in, you literally can hand pick like you're on a menu at a menu and go, I want this because they have a list of like the different materials. They have a different lights. They have the different electronics. They have the different underwater lights and they have the consoles, the stitching, the logos, whatever you want. And you go bop, bop, bop. And it makes it super user friendly. And everyone there is like family. You know, you walk in there and you feel welcome. You feel like you're going to get like what you want, what you need. And you're going to get it when you say you want it. It's not going to be a six month, you know, wait on what you're looking for. And you're going to get exactly what you want. And that's truly I mean, if you couple that with a performance and the style and the feel of the boat with like a family approach and everything you want, I mean, you're winning. And I, I'm glad you went into that route because that was going to be my next question because every different boat owner has their own things that they want on the boat, depending yeah. on what you're basing out of. And I was curious uh, to, to let people know exactly how easy it is to kind of add and subtract the different things that you want uh, on your boat. So it's almost like a menu style. You get it and you can literally check off everything you want. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of rare. You know, I've honestly, I've never had that. I've had great relationships in the boating industry for many years, but uh, I got to tell you, I'm like super pleased with this. And sometimes I can't, I can't even believe it's happening. You know, I'm, I'm on the boat sitting here and Everyone, every one guy's nicer than the next guy, and then the engineer comes up, and then the sales reps from from uh, Orange Beach come up, and then we're talking about all these things. They all watch the shows, and then the marketing specialist, you know, Rudy, you know, he's always you know on top of everything. You get on Instagram, you get on any social media, he's literally responded to you like before you've even typed your question. It's like he reads. And, like, and, and oh. where where is Rudy right now? Is he listening? Yeah, he's right in front of me. Yeah. Well, tell him to just now. tell him to just stand behind you for a second. Because All right, everybody. Here, how about I just flip it around? There you go. There's oh, so, lower, your mask, lower your mask. Lower your mask for a second, Rudy, because I spent two days looking for Rudy and I couldn't find him. Well, maybe it's because he, yeah. Long hair. Maybe because he yeah. had the mask on. Long hair, don't Long care. Hair. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, and and you bring up a good point. You say he's on social media. So, if people want to find uh, or ask Rudy any questions on social media, what are the best places? Uh, where should we be sending people? I would say Instagram on the Invincible Boat, Invincible Boats Instagram. 
you, okay. I mean, he's going to be on it instantly to the point where it's like, I don't even know how he's reception sometimes. I mean, he's literally like 45 miles offshore and I, I see his head down. He's typing responses. I'm like, what cell service do you have? Like, I don't get it. I, I got Verizon. I'm done once I pass like this one lighthouse, Bowie Lighthouse. <laughs> See you later. So I'm going to put my phone in airplane mode so I have a little juice left to like order food on the way home. And, and, and it's funny. He can be that fast with all that hair. That's imp impressive, too, because usually that drag will slow you down. He's built for speed. He's got he's got a, he uses somewhat of a it's not it's not a it's not a jerry curl. It's more like a it's more like a slide, like a glide. We'll call it a glide. <laughs> the, the oh, my crazy God. Crazy. It's 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 like uh, Soul Glow from that. old yeah, Soul coming, Glow from the old uh, uh, Eddie Murphy movie coming, coming to, America. to America. Oh, my God. That is so funny. I, I love so it. Funny. I love it. So what are some of the things that uh, Invincible as a company has coming out in the future? And it doesn't have to be just boat innovations. Are they uh, going to be at any other tournaments, uh, any other events? Where can people uh, find Invincible here in the future? Well, I, I know for sure we got a little, little Jimmy Johnson action going on. And that, that's one of the biggest money tournaments down in the Keys. And um you know, they, I think they team up with the Hard Rock uh, and they have a, it's, I think it's one of the biggest tournaments there is right now in South Florida. But, you know, I guess there's, there's tournaments all over the country, all over the world that are happening. Invincible's part of, but I know that one for sure. And, you know, a good friend of mine, JC Cleary and his wife, Sarah, fishing on the, uh, the pro team, the Invincible pro team remix. Um, they're going to be there and they have a 42 gap tower Invincible with quad motors and they put a team together and they are in contention to win every single tournament. Just like I was back in my old days. Wait a second. <laughs> I remember those days. You guys were taking it home just about every other week. Oh man, I'll never forget. There's like 30 minutes left in the tournament. And we're like, man, we're two fish down. We're never gonna do it. I'm like, there he is. Oh my God, it's a double, it's a triple, it's a quad. And you just pray and you get goosebumps and you, you come back and you take a polygraph and you just hope someone cheated. And they did, and they get kicked out. They'd be like, "Sorry, you can't p pass the polygraph." And I'd be like, "Miller man's coming in. I got nothing to hide. Tell me what I, you tell me, whatever you want. I got it." Listen, I've been to way too many of them polygraph tests. It's not the fishing stuff that bothers me. It's all the other stuff. You know, yeah. I'm, more, I'm worried if they're going to ask me about stuff I did in my teenage and 20s and stuff. Well, like that. that's how they set up. They, they set up a constant like that. They go, all right, Peter, we're going to ask some questions. What's your name? It's Peter Miller. Have you ever eaten fatty food? Yes, I have. Have you ever <laughs> smoked marijuana? Kids, don't listen. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. And they'll do that. And they set up the baseline, as you know, you know, and then they no, go, no, go, go, and then all of a sudden they get into it. And then it's like from there, you know, it's, it's all good. But the worst part was when we won. The two hundred and three, the two thousand three uh, World Sailfish Championship. That's when Red Bull had just kind of come out, and I, well, I hadn't really ever had any, and I thought it was soda, so I just uh -oh. kept getting Red Bull after Red Bull, and it was like two hundred degrees, and I guzzled probably six on my way in, and we get to the thing, and the guy hooks me up, he goes, Peter, your heart's beating a little fast. I'm like, I don't know, man, I'm tripping, bro. I am tripping. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna flatline here soon yeah yeah those, those things will kill you yeah. so how um how have your oh wait a second i need to give a big shout out uh to a friend of both yours and mine i see uh the madam herself miss krista evans has joined us on facebook live uh from hooker electric hello trista good to see you uh, what's up trista great to see you here on the live uh, joining uh, and for everybody else that's been joining uh, I'm here with Captain Peter Miller at the Invincible booth uh, here at the 2020 uh, Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show uh, which is the first boat show uh, that's going on since the whole uh, started. this is a big deal for a lot of people not just uh, all of us that have taken part uh, in the boat show, but also everybody watching. Also, a big shout out to my my main man Tarzan. Uh, good to see you. Have you checked out Tarzan on Instagram lately? I sure have. We follow each other. Well, I follow. You know, I, I I'm pretty sure we follow each other. I follow. You know, so. So know, yeah, Tar out. Tarzan. Uh, he's a. I'm a big fan of his. At a whopping 11 years old, this guy is. He's going places. Yeah, he's, he sure is. He's definitely going places. So that's awesome. 
Uh, now tell me about uh, what, what have the sales been like for you guys at the boat show so far? Um, well, uh, that, that, that's a good question. I know prior to this, sales are like absolutely out of control. Um, Rudy, I'm going to throw a question over your way. What have the sales been like prior to or, or at the boat show? Are there sales at the boat show or is it more at the factory through the dealers? We've had a couple back to 46s sold at the show. A couple 46s have been sold thus far at the boat show. Yeah, could, could you tell him? 37, uh, Cat has an offer on it. Could you, could you tell him he's... Days. He's muffled because of the uh, face mask. Lower it down. <laughs> yeah, he's very muffled because so he has a double face mask. He has a sports bra on over his face mask. I've uh, never seen anything like it. It's you know like, what? It, it, it's to hold the I hair don't know down. If you wanted me to say it, or just to feed you the line for you to say yeah, it. Yeah, I was trying to get. I was trying to get fed. I don't want to break the third wall. Yeah, he doesn't want to be the third wall. He's he's like a TV guy, so he doesn't you, want to break the third wall. Things get weird. You, you know what? He could put it up on your teleprompter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In my earpiece, check, check, one, two, uh, one, two. Check, yeah, yeah, check, yeah. Go ahead, you're wide open. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that you know, uh, my three days at the show, the one thing that everybody said uh, was the fact that they definitely saw more qualified buyers. Uh, people were coming to buy boats, and I know before the boat show. Uh, in the state of Florida right now, boat sales have been up uh, right around 46 to 47 percent statewide uh, this year. Wow. COVID uh, hit. And I know nationwide, we've added 10 million new anglers that we can track. And in the state of Florida, we've added 375. Wow, those are good numbers. I didn't know that. I remember the the economic impact annually for fishing was like at 125, 128 billion. I wonder what that number is going to jump to. It, it's going to jump significantly, yeah. uh, significantly. Cause I know that was before this whole COVID. Uh, and I know the numbers uh, for me personally, uh, I'm actually tomorrow's our launch date. I'm uh, publishing my first book. And it's about uh, the events that we put on as fishermen in the country. And we're trying to, uh, cater to those new 10 million new anglers we have uh, nationwide. So uh, these are new people in the industry that um, are being introduced to fishing the very first time. And the boat sales are showing it. Tackle sales are showing it. Uh, everything is showing it. So yeah, these are new people that uh, we get the opportunity to talk to right now uh, on this on this podcast to, to let them know oh it looks like somebody's arm got tired and you are now holding the camera it's like riding the bull i'm riding the bronco yeah. right now look I my one only hand one hand you just gotta go like this as the thing bucks but the uh, nice thing is i'm on a cat so it doesn't buck so i can just keep it down on my waist you, you, casual. Yeah, listen you've already lasted the eight seconds so you win uh <laughs> <laughs> that listen it's all it's all downhill from here man Oh my God! So tell us funny. about the tell us about a little bit about the weather that's going on. I see you got a good breeze, so that's very comfortable for the boat show. Uh, tell us what what people should expect if they come to the boat show today or tomorrow. Well, right now it's actually the sun's kind of coming out a little bit. It's slightly overcast. I would say it's eighty degrees with about a fifteen knot wind, and uh, it's just to me, honestly, it's the perfect it's the perfect setup. For a boat show you know there's a little drizzle every now and then but nobody's running for cover it's kind of like it goes past and and it's been a great boat show thus far and and uh i couldn't ask for better i do remember past boat shows pre-covid where i was dripping sweat by the time i even like got through the line to come in i don't think i've broken a sweat today except on my upper lip from my yeti which is like just you know i have to gotta stay moisturized well, listen i I'm, that's why i keep my bottle of water over here in the corner yeah it's likewise Proper hydration. That's a big deal. That's so right. if somebody was going to the show today or tomorrow that's watching this, how can they find you and the Invincible booth? Well, we are, if you came into the uh, Bahia Mar, if you came into the valet area of the Bahia Mar and you walk through the valet and you get to the very end where you got to make a right or a left, make a left and you're going to come down the docks and we're kind of near, um, you know, uh, Boston Whaler and we're kind of you know maybe about a two minute walk from that main area that main driveway and you'll see the invincible flags and you know, got four boats in the water and everyone's ready to uh, talk to you about about the boats show you the boats and uh, talk about all the specs and maybe spec one out because 
these guys are really great, man. I, I, I got, I'm being totally honest. It's very easy to sell a brand or talk about a brand when you believe in it. And when you know the people behind it really believe in it and they're all cool. And that's what these guys are. And they're building a great machine. I just finished seven days in Louisiana filming on Invincibles. And we were running a 42, a 40, a 35. We we're going 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. And we were running out the oil rigs, catching tunas. And it was epic. Well, at that point, you don't have to sell the product. The product sells itself. True. Now, with that being said, and I think we've answered all the questions, is there anything you feel that we've missed that you want to add? Um, I, I need, honestly, you know, there's a couple There's a couple things that, you know, that I didn't talk about. As I look around, I look at the side, side dive door on these boats, right? It's an option. I say that's a hundred percent go to, and they have a retractable ladder that fits up inside the uh, side that pops out, push button, comes out, gets you in the side. My boat, the 35 with the twin motors actually has a ladder down the center of the transom. And then the uh, ladder comes down, you take two steps up onto the bait well. So you, now I have two entry points, whether you're at a sandbar, whether you're diving, whatever you're doing. So I really love that fact that I could have added tons of bait wells and I still could plummet for more and more and more, but I got exactly what I need and I love that. So other than that, I'd say, you know, look for my new season of Uncharted Waters on the Discovery Channel and you could check it out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, the website, YouTube. So it's Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller. And uh, we're going to we're having some really great adventures. You know, we're not just fishing. You know, a lot of people you find, you know, they think fishing shows are the only way you can do a show. Let's fish, fish, fish and catch fish. It's, they want to see, they want to see travel. They want to see fun. They want to see exploration, immersing yourself in the area. As you know, I mean, you've done this your whole life and I get, I get a lot of comments about the boat. I get a lot of comments about the food. I get a couple comments about the fish. You know, we can catch 40 striped marlin in Cabo in a day. And they're like, okay, that's cool. But uh, man, that food you ate, that tequila you drank, that boat you were on. They, so, oh, they always ask about the food, man. Yeah, it's, always, yeah. it's always about what you can eat while you're in a location. Yeah, exactly. So, and when you're in Invincible and you got tuna tubes, catch yourself a big old tuna on a tuna and you're eating that tuna, you know, that next day while it's been brined and ice, seven degrees, seven degrees colder than regular ice with salt water on it. For those of you out there who wondered, that's some cold meat right there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Peter, uh, if you can just hang on right there, I want to thank you very much um, for being a part of the podcast and talking to everybody about uh, Invincible and your show and giving us uh, the opportunity to uh, to talk to you directly. And um, like I said, if you can just hold on right there, we're going to sign sure. off. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us uh, this year at the Fort Lauderdale International uh, boat show we're going to come at you live again tomorrow so but again let's thank peter miller and check him out at the boat show i'm sure you can find him there he's going to be there both days today and tomorrow yes yeah i'll be here tomorrow as well admissible or you know you'll, you'll find me or just send me a message if you can't find me and uh but mainly i'll be hanging with my uh with my girlfriend invincible and my real girlfriend alessia whoa yes. Pleasure to meet you. Love. You know what? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't leave her very far either. I would no, man. Really you got to love that chin guard. Look at that chin guard. <laughs> That's, you know, I'll tell you what. Since COVID has started, the, the chins could not have been any safer. I have seen so what, many man. safe chins. No, no chin goes unprotected anymore, man. That's the worst. When I, <laughs> one last thing. I flew to New York. And she said, she said, she said to me, she goes, Peter, listen, get on this, get on the bus instead of taking a car or whatever. And I walked up this thing on my suitcase and I got on, the, I got on this train and everybody had it on their chin on their and chin. they call them, they call them mask holes instead of assholes, they call them <laughs> mask holes. And I was like, look at all these mask holes. I can't, I couldn't believe it. I was like, well, what are you trying to do? You're trying to kill yourself, right? Yeah. Like everyone's on a crowded train. So anyway, I wear mine all the time. I try to keep it safe. I wash my hands. I got my anti back and. You know, anyway, let's keep it safe. I hope everyone's safe out there. And I appreciate everyone listening. And I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me about Invincible. And I'm just really tickled, as they say, to be partnered with this great brand. I'm pumped. It was powered by Mercury's. I couldn't be better. You got to love it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. And we will check you guys out. Manana.